right, we're here on the final day of consensus, the third day. Uh, it's been a whirlwind experience. We've had tons of people come into various different booths. And our last conversation of the event is with Harry Pearson, DevHawk, so, NGD Enterprise. I hope you're saving the best for last. <laughs> the best for last. Or is it the lowest priority? I don't know, what are the two? Highest priority has to go last. Yes. So what has your experience been here like at the event? You're here representing NGD Enterprise talking about tooling. What yep. have folks been talking to you about? Um, the two big things that I've been talking about, I'm talking a lot about the tooling and people who come up and say, uh, they want to talk about sponsorship, so I send them over to Songping's uh, booth. <laughs> Awesome. So, what are like the types of questions you're getting about tooling? Are you talking to developers? Are you talking to CEOs? Who are you talking I'm to? Talking to a lot of different people. And one of the things I think in particular is how important the developer experience is to Neo and what a differentiating factor that is. Not just in the tooling, right? And I mean, I don't want to sound like I'm bragging, but like, I think the tooling is pretty good. But it's also all of the other pieces of the puzzle that come in that we see here in the booth, right? Stuff like NeoFS, stuff like the tooling that are provided by other groups like. Uh, Axe Labs and COZ, the different language platforms, uh, and, and what's great is how those things all come together. Um, I was having this conversation with a with a, a guy yesterday about the fact that we, we at Microsoft we would have called these things middleware. These are the pieces of the puzzle that like NeoFS, NeoID, Neo Name Service, Oracles that like get you from zero to solution faster, and that those are the things that Neo not only believes in, but actually invests in, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm. And to make sure that we have the best developer platform for, across all the blockchain space. You know, people actually have, somebody asked me yesterday, why'd you leave Microsoft for this? And I'm like, because of that, that's nice. the reason. Because you, 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 you put your money where your mouth is, right? And Neo absolutely has prioritized the developer experience, and I think it's the best in across blockchain, and I think it was the best independent of the work that I do. Yeah, and so do you think that that's coming across from the folks you're talking about? Are they having like an aha moment, like this developer I, tooling, my God. So yesterday I was I was talking to a guy uh, who, had, he's come to the Web3 space, brand new, he had some Web2 company that did e-commerce, he's trying to get in the Web3 space, and uh, he was absolutely blown away. He's like, oh, this is exactly what I need, and it felt really good to get that kind of feedback from somebody like, you know, I, I'm, I, I sat down and built these tools, the other folks in this community have built the tools they built, and they all fit together so nicely to provide such a great experience, and to see somebody experience it for the first time in real time like that, that, that was really awesome. Yeah, that's super cool. Um, so something that I think is really cool about this whole event is the activation with the one band ring. Oh, that's been great. We got a line. We had people from the conference lined up, like other employees of other booths, before customers were allowed in, lined up 15 minutes before we opened. That's that that that's that tells you how cool this this uh, this giveaway is. Yeah. So I'm, I, I feel like it's a bit unfortunate because you're the only booth here who didn't have yeah. an NFC scanner. NFT scan, NFC scanner. So, from the outside looking in, what was it like watching people get activated at the booth and then going around to the various different booths to talk to the projects that people are... keep coming to my booth and then walking away disappointed because I didn't have a scanner. <laughs> so I got a lot of that. No, um, I actually I got the marketing folks got me trained up, so I actually helped with some of the activation for it. We had such a long line; it's like we got to get through this as fast as possible. So I helped out, and uh, it, it's a great program. It's a great project, and it's 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 really inspiring for the kinds of things that you could do. I mean, it's, we had a, uh, there was a woman here the first day who was like, well, what would you do with the ring after the show? And I'm like, okay, look, it's, it's a giveaway for the show. It's a demo for the show. There isn't really a you know, post-show scenario for it. But it obviously is inspiring for the kinds of things that you can do, both with the custom kind of hardware, plus, I mean, like, it's the same kind of technology. I have brought out my credit card about a thousand times to show customers. Like, it's the same chip that's in your credit card. Yeah. It's the same chip that powers tap to pay in your phone. So even if you didn't gonna do the whole custom uh, hardware of the ring, which of course is the coolest part of it for the giveaway here, but from a real world perspective, you can imagine doing something very similar just using your phone and not having to have the custom hardware. Yeah. And, and, and the, the, the scenarios that that empowers, that same woman had this fantastic term, her name is Sarah, She's, uh, she does, uh, uh, she's actually from Seattle. Um, digital, physical and digital, that merging and the, 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 the scenarios that that enables is just, it, they're epic and it's just really great. I, I had nothing to do with it other than like they obviously 
the, the teams that built it use the tools that I help provide. So like beyond that, I had no involvement in it. So for me, it's been great to just sort of watch it from the outside. Other folks are like, they're stressing because they're the ones who built it and, and it's, we're gonna work well. It, guys, it worked great, it's been amazing. Um, and so it's been fun to watch it from that perspective. Yeah, absolutely. So what are some of the key takeaways that you think people are walking away from this booth about NEO moving forward? I, I they're, they're seeing the, the, we've spent a lot of time, especially during the pandemic where there was a lot of like, I mean, I think the, the whole market was a little depressed because everybody was at home and kind of thing. And coming out of that and coming in, I know, I mean, obviously there was a consensus last year. I wasn't here last year. They're really just sort of seeing what a force Neo 3 really can be. Yeah. Um, are there any ideas for like future tools that you're going to create that have arisen from this event or what are kind of like I have the a next bag, I have a big enough backlog as it is. <laughs> The, the, the thing that's great about this community, I've described a couple of times that this is decentralized tech, decentralized community. So we have a bit of a like herding cats issue sometimes, but it's such a great community working together. Like I get a lot of feedback from the other folks, like Vincent from the Ghost Market uh, booth over there, the reason we have code coverage is because he asked for it. And I went off and I'm like, that's a great idea for a feature. And so we get great ideas for features around here. We, uh, I've got, a, I've had a pretty heads down because we're working on a TypeScript compiler. It's hopefully we ship it for uh, for consensus, but we slipped a little bit, so that didn't happen. But as soon as I get through that, we'll be able to start focusing on some of the more feature requests. And you know, the more real world people using it, the more feedback we get, and the uh, the better we can actually make these kind of tools. In fact, it's funny. I was just helping. Um, Eric and Victor debug something, and they're like, oh, oh, I have a dump tool we can use. And they're like, wait, how did I not know about this tool? <laughs> so, you know, make these tools more available, get them integrated into more products. Like, so I was already talking to Vitor about getting it integrated into the Neo compiler website. Right. Right. So that way we can get that same kind of experience right there. Because it's just dumping the console. It's just dumping the, the bytecode to the console. If you're not a developer, you don't care about that, but you know, these guys are here, developers, so they care about that scenario quite a bit. For sure. And so kind of wrapping up, I'm going to put you on the spot. If you could use one word that encapsulates the entire vibe that was here at the NEO booth at Consensus 2023, what would it be? Uh, one word? One word. Yeah, one word. One oh, word, Mary. Man. Um, for me, it's been awesome. Um, I, uh, I used to do event stuff in previous careers, and uh, so getting a chance to, to be on this side of it, like instead of the planning side of it, and seeing how well it's all been executed, both at the conferences, I think, been very well run, which is outside of our expertise, but just the folks who are running this booth, it has been so smooth. This is an incredibly, the, the ring in particular is an incredibly technical project, and the fact that it has gone off almost without a hitch, modulo the, 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 the network here in the facility, which is always a problem at every event you have ever been to in your entire <laughs> life, and will be forever. Um, it is, it, it is it's, it's really a testament to the engineering team that put together this scenario and that has been supporting it day in and day out here at the conference. And it is, I mean, there have been hiccups, oh, this scanner's not working, or the Wi-Fi's broken, and you know, those things happen. But like those are these little teeny, 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 tiny hiccups in what has otherwise been this incredibly awesome uh, real world demonstration of the power of the Neo blockchain. Well, Harry, you've been chatting with people nonstop the entire time, so I'll let you get back to it. Thank, Thank you, you for sharing time with us. It was Thanks awesome time. to have you uh, share your insights with the Neo community. No problem. Can we get somebody to walk through the... the, the, <laughs> the, 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 the <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, Dean. Dean is always there for, for everybody. It's been great. <laughs>